the anchor of the crew that passed away after last race on Sunday. Uh, so we're going to be doing a, a, a moment of silence here after our national anthem, and we're going to do a parade lap here in Tom Hinkle's memories. Tom Hinkle has been a, a staple here at Verona Speedway and also Cajon Speedway. A lot of people remember back, he'd been Cajon Speedway fire marshal for the longest time, and then when they closed down, he came up here and helped us out and set up the fire crew here. Been a staple with the fire crew. Pretty much everyone, any one of the drivers have, have talked to him either from a bad time or a good time, and it was a great man. So right now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to do our national anthem. First, I'd like to thank our military. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, our armed forces for keeping us safe. I'd like to do our national anthem. So ladies and gentlemen, if you please rise if you're able and please remove your hat. So we'll take it down trackside real quick with a couple of people down here. Some words for, for everybody. First of all, like their dude said, I want to thank everybody for showing up and showing the support. Uh, everybody down here in their motor homes, down in turn two and three, or one and two. I know those folks have a great time watching from down there too. So thank you all. Um, if you didn't know it, uh, Tom Hinkle, a true gentleman. Uh, I'm trying to do this without getting teared up. I uh, tell you what kind of person he was. He, I, I left a job after 23 years, and Robert Baker to my left and Tom Hinkle were the two, first two people to call me, and they knew how rattled I was. And uh, Tom's big thing is he always liked to treat you and take you to lunch, and uh, his, his deal was let's do lunch. So uh, I. Uh, it's tough. The guy was with Cohen Speedway over 20 years and here over 20 years. I mean, fire and safety was his deal. When, when he was here, every weekend you knew you were safe. Um, Tom and, and these guys here pulled me out of a dwarf car one night, and uh, I, I knew I was in a good position. So a lot of people don't know, but uh, Tom Hinkle liked all the racers, all the race cars, all the divisions, all the drivers. But the dwarf cars were his favorite. And uh, for some for some crazy reason, he was fond of this guy in the five car, Robert Peters. And uh, Robert's our track champion in the past. And uh, he, uh, Tom and Robert had a, a really cool bond, um, like Tom did with everybody. So tonight we're going to do a couple parade laps, missing man formation. This position here is going to be left open for Tom. Robert's going to. Robert's going to be on the outside pole, and the fire and safety crew is going to lead him around for two laps. And uh, then we'll give him the checkered flag, and uh, it'll be Tom's final checkered flag. So, uh, without further ado, uh, this is uh, Robert Baker. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it. If everybody who is able would please stand on your feet if you can. I'd like to have a moment of silence for our great friend and leader, Tom Hankel. God bless you, Tom Hankel. We miss you very, very much. Everybody, let's have a great night. Turn two rowdies. Let's be as loud as you can over there for Tom Hankel. Yeah! Let's do it. Everybody, have a safe night. Tom Hankel's services will be next Saturday, the 2nd, at 11 a.m. at the Unity Church in El Cajon on 311 Highland Avenue. Anybody who is a race fan or knew Tom Hankel that's in these stands, these pits, these race cars, please come out and celebrate Tom. The family would love to see as many people there as possible. Wear a race shirt in Tom's behalf. Barona Speedway, I don't care where, Bristol, Bakersfield, wherever. Show support for Tom because he loved this sport. And we all wouldn't be here without his leadership and friendship and love. Enough said. Tom Hankel, we love you. Let's go racing, folks.
painting dwarf cars out here tonight. I'd like to thank the group that traveled out with us. Uh, they were doing what they call the Halloween uh, hustle. So last night at Kern, a lot of our drivers went to Kern, the dirt track at Kern, and then they come back here and they're running a two race event overall for the two nights. Robert Peters in the 5 won last night. I'm trying to think of that, it was a 97 that came in second. Robert, uh, Tristan Peters came in third last night. Kern County Raceway. So tonight will be the deciding factor. I think there's like 1,500 on the line here for winning. I'd like to thank uh, Western States and the SoCal Dwarf Car Racing Association that are joining with us. 